Hey guys, Andy here. Uh, little change in plans. I have decided that this assignment number two is wrong at this moment in our careers as budding filmmakers. So we are going to rip it up. We are going to scrap it. Like this. We're going to rip it up. Okay. I'll go into more detail as to why I think it's wrong at this time, but let's just say I just think it's too much too soon. That said, I have a replacement assignment too, which is underneath here, and it looks like this. And I'm going to be posting this for you, or I'm going to post this at the same time that I post myself. Oh my God, look at the bags under my eyes. It's terrible. Anyway, the new assignment, let me explain really quickly. Not really quickly, I'll take my time. Um, is fairly straightforward and it will combine both the new editing skills that you learn with some further camera work that you'll do in light of our discussions about continuity editing, etc. So what it is, um, this is called the 10 shot visual portrait. Simple enough. And what it is, is we're going to use the camera and we're going to shoot a short visual portrait of a fellow student doing something. Uh, the work will demonstrate your competence using the camera editing and also it will demonstrate that you are thinking in terms of revealing this character through your shots and who this person is. So by shooting your subject in his or her school or home environment you will reveal their character using a variety of shots, sizes and angles to create a descriptive portrait. You will then edit a smooth sequence free of jump cuts. Simple enough. Um, your subject does not have to speak. You can have audio if you want, but they can just do. Um, they have to do something. It can be simple. It can be mundane. Um, or it could be something interesting like just shooting an assignment. So you could shoot them, film them as a photograph, let's say, a wine bottle in a class that you're doing where you photograph things other than, other than people. Um, and we need an honest, honest and genuine reaction to what they've done. So they react to themselves and what they've done. It's got to be genuine and honest. So give it an, I'll give you an example. I'll read one. A student has an assignment to photograph a wine bottle. Um, it could begin with shots of him or her entering the studio and setting up. Then it cuts to images of her hands, the camera, the bottle, her face in concentration. Now we show the flashing of a light and an extreme close-up of the student studying the pic, the smile. Hmm, she's satisfied. It worked out. And then a little extra or a little exit of this thing uh, finished up with her packing up or exiting the studio. So fairly simple, sort of what we were going to do, but not with all the sort of fake setup and shooting yourself and all this kind of stuff. You're shooting somebody else, uh, preferably a fellow student. You're shooting them doing something, preferably something simple like an assignment in class. And you're shooting them getting a reaction to what they've done. So um, 10 shots only allowed between 30 and 60 seconds in length. Um, the following shot sizes um, used, extreme close-up, close-up, medium, wide, high angle, low angle, and all the shots static on a tripod, I mean no camera moves. You don't have to light if you don't want, but we should want correct exposure and correct focus. Um, in the edit, we only want straight cuts, meaning no fancy dissolves or anything like that, no effects. And the final piece, if I didn't already say, is between 30 and 60 seconds in length exactly. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I've got it all written down here. So have a look at it. Tell all of your friends in the class. I want everybody to know about it. And also, um, I'm going to post some extra work online in Blackboard which you will do in lieu of us not meeting on Monday for Thanksgiving. As you're eating your turkey on Monday or Sunday, um, I shall be working up some things for you to do. Um, act your ledger, but you must do them because um, it'll be part of your participation mark. Um, and also you'll be responsible for the stuff on the midterm exam. So anyway, I, I hope this anyway 
I hope this um, assignment um, clears up some maybe confusion uh, that we might have had with the other assignment. I don't, uh, I, I don't think that assignment was the right thing at the right time, basically. So readjust new assignment number two. Tell everybody you know in your section and others to have a look at this video. And I will post this assignment right here. And uh, we'll carry on. And we will all love this assignment, I promise you. Thanks. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon.